So I've got another Harry Potter video for you here today. It's not the one I've been planning to make for a while. That one will still take a little bit more time, mainly just because I need to find a time when I can actually film with my sister, and so far all of those times have kind of fallen through where we've been too busy. That one is a continuation of the analysis on the Pottermore sorting test. That one's coming hopefully in the next month sometime, whenever I'm able to get together with my sister again. But for this one, I just decided to do something simple. I am gonna take one of the quizzes on Pottermore right now about Harry Potter, so let's pull that up. It's titled, Just a Rather Difficult Harry Potter Quiz. It says under it, you may say that you're the greatest Harry Potter expert of your friendship group, but are you really? Try this extra hard challenge and prove it. To be honest, if you get more than five right in this, we'll be impressed. Off you go. So there's 15 questions. I mean, the goal is obviously to get all 15 right, but I guess the secondary goal is to get more than five. So we'll see how I do. As a side note, it has been a few years since I've actually read through an entire Harry Potter book, but I still feel pretty good about it because I'm really good at this trivia stuff. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. Let's start. What was the name of the pygmy puff Ginny bought from Weasley's Wizard Weezes? I think that was Arnold. Yay! Okay, next. In Order of the Phoenix, what three things are scattered on the floor of the night bus when Harry, Ron, and Hermione are heading back to Hogwarts? Ooh. Um, I mean, the beetle dung sounds good. I don't really know, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Dang it, I missed that one. Rats. What are the names of Severus Snape's parents? I know Eileen Prince... So Tobias Snape and Eileen Prince. I wouldn't have been able to get Tobias Snape, but I know it's Eileen Prince. Okay, which was the code name that Fred was mistakenly called on Potter Watch? Oh shoot. <sighs> Ooh, that's a rodent? Yes, okay. I honestly didn't really remember that's the, just the one that sounded the best. Um, how many exceptions are there to Gamp's Elemental Law? Oh shoot. Um, I know that one of the exceptions is that you can't, like, make food or money, and I just don't know how many there are. Seven? Seven exceptions? Five, three, four. I mean, I feel like it's either three, five, or seven. I don't think it's four, because there's lots of threes and sevens in Harry Potter, but also those are the biggest and smallest numbers, and half the time it's one of the middle numbers in a quiz. Um, I'm gonna go with five. Yes, okay, woo, that was close. What color of eyes does Winky the house elf have? Oh, hers are brown, I think. Light brown? Ah, dark brown, ugh. Dang it, that's lame to have like two different, uh, whatever. What do Blast and Inscrutes look like to Harry? They look like deformed shellless lobsters, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, because you always picture them as kind of like weird looking lobsters. Okay, what was Hermione originally going to call Spew? I feel like it's probably the super long one because that's why she shortened it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's the name of the Bulgarian Minister for Magic? Oh, I do not know this one. Um, I'm gonna go with the Svet... No, Oblonsk. I think that sounds... Yes! Oh! Woo! I feel like this entire quiz is just like which one sounds the most right. <laughs> because I would just not be able to answer these questions without the multiple choice. And so I'm doing pretty good because like... I don't know, something in my mind is just kind of recognizing things. Okay, what type of hat was Elpheus Doge wearing at blur, blur, <laughs> or Bill and Flo's wedding? A moth-eaten fez sounds familiar. I feel like it's either that or a top hat. I'm going to go with a fez, though. Yes! Same thing there! I'm just slightly... 
Dang it, I just clicked the long link. Freaking Pottermore, why? Okay, I made it back. I just filled in all of the questions, how I already answered them. Whoops. That's really dumb. Every time I scroll up, like, the thing comes up to click on other stuff in Pottermore, and I accidentally clicked it. Whoops. But I made it back. On to question 11. Who gave Ambrosius Flume, the manager of Honeyduke's sweet shop, his first job? Okay, so this would be... The problem with this is I'm guessing it's one of the last two because those are the two I don't know who it is. But maybe it's trying to trick me. I know Florian Fortescue is the ice cream, um, owns the ice cream shop in, in Diagon Alley. So I'm just going to say him because I don't recognize the other ones. Yep, that was wrong. It's okay. Cicerone, apparently. And let's not click the stupid thing. <sighs> Who is the author of Unfogging the Future? <sighs> Mary thought's the name of one of the old professors. At Hogwarts. No sapworthy. I do not know this one. I think the Cassandra one looks. Woo! I got that! Wow! Ha! Huh. Same thing, just kind of recognizing things. In the book, what color were the dress robes that Padma Patil wore? Oh, I do not know this one. Well, hmm, I feel like it was lime green or magenta. Let's go with lime green. Nope, I was wrong. It was turquoise. How did I not remember that? Turquoise is my favorite color. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, next question. What does Romilda Vane ask Ginny about Harry and the Half-Blood Prince? Whether he has the hippogriff tattoo, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got that one. Who's the editor of the Daily Prophet? Oh, it's not Xenophilius. He is, that's... That's a completely different thing. The quibble is not the Daily Prophet. Um, Barnabas Cuff. I think that one looks the best. Yep. Okay, how well did I do? Let's see. 11 out of 15. Woo! It wasn't perfect, but I got 11 out of 15. That's pretty good. That was probably better than I thought I would, judging on the difficulty of those questions. Those were pretty good questions. I like that quiz. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Just something simple taking a Harry Potter quiz. If you like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel, which you can do by clicking over here somewhere. Also check out my other videos. We've got one of me taking the sorting test on Pottermore somewhere up here and a playlist of all my Harry Potter related videos down here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!